In 1984, Revenge of the Nerds introduced us to a group of misfit college students who turned the tables on the campus bullies. As we revisit this classic comedy, let's take a look at where the main cast members are today. First up, we have Robert Carradine, who portrayed the intelligent and determined Louis Skolnick. Since his iconic role, Carradine has continued to work in film and television, showcasing his talent both in front of and behind the camera. Robert Carradine as Louis Skolnick. Robert Carradine, born on March 24, 1954, in Hollywood, California, embarked on a journey that would make him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Among his many roles, Carradine achieved significant success portraying the intelligent and determined Louis Skolnick in the iconic 1984 comedy, Revenge of the Nerds. Biography and Career Robert Carradine was born into a family deeply rooted in Hollywood, with his father being actor John Carradine and his brothers, Keith and David Carradine, also prominent figures in the industry. Following in their footsteps, Carradine pursued a career in acting, starting with small roles in film and television before landing his breakout role in Revenge of the Nerds. As Louis Skolnick, Carradine captured the hearts of audiences with his portrayal of a nerdy college student who rallies his fellow misfits to stand up against the campus bullies. The film's success catapulted Carradine into the spotlight, leading to numerous roles in both film and television. Most successful roles. While Robert Carradine has had many successful roles throughout his career, his portrayal of Louis Skolnick in Revenge of the Nerds remains one of his most iconic performances. As the charismatic leader of the nerds, Carradine brought humor, heart, and relatability to the character, cementing his status as a fan favorite. Most prestigious awards. While Carradine may not have received major awards recognition, his contributions to the entertainment industry have been appreciated by fans worldwide. His portrayal of Louis Skolnick in Revenge of the Nerds remains a timeless classic, earning him a place in the hearts of audiences for generations to come. Robert Carradine is alive and well, continuing to entertain audiences with his talent and charm. Anthony Edwards as Gilbert Lowell. Anthony Edwards, born on July 19, 1962, in Santa Barbara, California, enchanted audiences with his talent and charisma throughout his illustrious career. Among his many roles, Edwards achieved significant success portraying the loyal and level-headed Gilbert Lowell in the iconic 1984 comedy, Revenge of the Nerds. Biography and Career Anthony Edwards' journey in the entertainment industry began with a passion for storytelling and a desire to bring characters to life on stage and screen. He honed his craft through theater productions before transitioning to film and television. In Revenge of the Nerds, Edwards captivated audiences with his portrayal of Gilbert Lowell, a nerdy college student who becomes an unlikely hero in the face of adversity. The film's success propelled Edwards into the spotlight, leading to numerous roles in both film and television. Throughout his career, Edwards showcased his versatility as an actor, tackling a wide range of roles across various genres. From dramas to comedies, he captivated audiences with his heartfelt performances and relatable characters. Most successful roles. While Anthony Edwards has had many successful roles throughout his career, his portrayal of Gilbert Lowell in Revenge of the Nerds remains one of his most iconic performances. As the voice of reason among the nerds, Edwards brought depth, humor, and humanity to the character, earning him a place in the hearts of audiences. Most prestigious awards. Throughout his career, Anthony Edwards received critical acclaim for his performances, earning nominations and awards for his work. He garnered multiple Emmy nominations for his role as Dr. Mark Green on the hit television series, Err, showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. Anthony Edwards is alive and well, continuing to pursue his passion for acting and storytelling. Timothy Busfield as Arnold Poindexter. Timothy Busfield, born on June 12, 1957, in Lansing, Michigan, embarked on a remarkable journey in the entertainment industry that would solidify his status as a beloved actor. Among his many roles, Busfield achieved significant success portraying the nerdy and lovable Arnold Poindexter in the iconic 1984 comedy, Revenge of the Nerds. Biography and Career Timothy Busfield's passion for acting was ignited at a young age, and he pursued his dreams with unwavering determination. He honed his craft through theater productions and eventually made his mark on the big screen. In Revenge of the Nerds, Busfield charmed audiences with his portrayal of Arnold Poindexter, a nerdy college student with a heart of gold. 
The film's success propelled Busfield into the spotlight, leading to numerous roles in both film and television. Throughout his career, Busfield showcased his versatility as an actor, effortlessly transitioning between comedic and dramatic roles. From heartfelt dramas to light-hearted comedies, he captivated audiences with his talent and authenticity. Most successful roles. While Timothy Busfield has had many successful roles throughout his career, his portrayal of Arnold Poindexter in Revenge of the Nerds remains one of his most beloved performances. Most prestigious awards. Throughout his career, Timothy Busfield received critical acclaim for his performances, earning nominations and awards for his work. He won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series for his role as Elliot Weston in the television series, 30-something, showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. Timothy Busfield is alive and well, continuing to entertain audiences with his talent and charm. Andrew Cossese as Harold Wormser. In the heart of Rochester, New York, on November 12, 1967, a young star was born, Andrew Cossese. Among his many roles, Cossese found his stride as the timid yet tech-savvy Harold Wormser in the iconic 1984 comedy, Revenge of the Nerds. Biography and Career From an early age, Andrew Cossese exhibited a natural talent for performance and a keen interest in storytelling. His journey into the world of acting began with local theater productions, where he honed his craft and developed his skills. Cossese's breakout role came with Revenge of the Nerds, where he portrayed Harold Wormser, a nerdy college student with a penchant for technology. The film's success catapulted Cossese into the spotlight, opening doors to numerous opportunities in film and television. Most successful roles. While Andrew Cossese has taken on various roles throughout his career, his portrayal of Harold Wormser in Revenge of the Nerds remains one of his most beloved and enduring performances. Most prestigious awards. While Cossese may not have received major awards recognition, his contributions to the entertainment industry have been celebrated by fans and colleagues alike. His portrayal of Harold Wormser left a lasting impression, solidifying his status as a talented and respected actor. Andrew Cossese is alive and well continuing to pursue his passion for acting and storytelling. Curtis Armstrong as Dudley, Booger, Dawson. In the bustling city of Detroit, Michigan, on November 27, 1953, a star was born, Curtis Armstrong. Among his many roles, Armstrong found fame and acclaim as the irreverent and unforgettable Dudley, Booger, Dawson in the cult classic 1984 comedy, Revenge of the Nerds. Biography and Career. From a young age, Curtis Armstrong showed a knack for comedy and a flair for performance. His journey into the world of acting began with local theater productions, where he honed his craft and developed his unique style. Armstrong's big break came with Revenge of the Nerds, where he portrayed Booger, a crude and unconventional college student with a heart of gold. The film's success catapulted Armstrong into the spotlight, establishing him as a beloved figure in the world of comedy. Most successful roles. While Curtis Armstrong has delighted audiences with numerous memorable performances, his portrayal of Booger in Revenge of the Nerds remains one of his most iconic and enduring roles. Most prestigious awards. While Armstrong may not have received major awards recognition, his contributions to the entertainment industry have been celebrated by fans and critics alike. His portrayal of Booger left an indelible mark on popular culture, solidifying his status as a comedic icon. Curtis Armstrong is alive and well, continuing to entertain audiences with his talent and wit. As we conclude our journey through the lives and careers of the talented actors from Revenge of the Nerds, we're reminded of the laughter, joy, and nostalgia they brought into our lives. From Robert Carradine's charismatic portrayal of Louis Skolnick to Anthony Edwards' endearing performance as Gilbert Lowell, each actor left an indelible mark on our hearts. What's your favorite memory from Revenge of the Nerds? Which character resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more nostalgic content, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us continue to bring you the stories and insights you love.